Hello friends! Today I want to talk about a bunch of wallets. Now, I have got a lot to show here, so we're gonna try to, to do it quick. But first of all, this video is brought to you by Mantra Labs, which make these great little packets that you use to add some vitamins and like some electrolytes, I think, and things to your water. I'll tell you what I like is that it makes, uh, makes water easier to drink. Link below supports the channel. So if you're looking for something to get some electrolytes and make your water uh, taste a little more delicious, use that link. Right now I'm using Go. I used Rise this morning. I used Rest last night. They've got this nice little three pack thing. Thanks Mantra Labs. Okay, let's talk for a second about what you need. This is what I need right here. This is my favorite wallet because it's just on my phone. I know a lot of you are like, the phone wallet, but then if I lose my phone, I've lost my wallet and my phone. First of all, it sucks to lose your phone. Second of all, it sucks to lose your wallet. I am less likely to you to lose either because there's only one thing in my life that I'm managing. That's my response to that. You can take it or leave it. But I like a cell phone wallet. This one's from Bellroy. It only has space for three cards. So I've minimized myself down to three cards. I have an ID, an ATM card, and a credit card. That's what I have in there. And then I'll have like another like wallet type thing in my bag that has like deeper type stuff, like a business card or other things that I might need another time. My first point here is just, you've got to lay out the stuff that you think you need. Then you cull it down to just the essentials. For me, I went with three because it's what the best case I have found uses. Straight up. I love this case. I have used lots of phone cases. There's some cheap ones like this encased or silk that uh, that have worked pretty good. Of course, I used this encased one. Thanks Amazon for like the $12 case right on. It did not protect my phone from surprise. I had no idea. I had no idea that this had happened. So phone cases, do matter in terms of protection. I've used this Bellroy three card case. I've used several versions of it. I've never had a problem where my phone actually breaks. Here's a previous one that's just like, you know, it, it just patinaed really nicely. I don't know if they're using the same leather. No, I've even tried like folios like this that, uh, that lift up and out. The folio makes camera stuff a real pain in the ass. So the folio is out for me. I was most recently using this one from Nomad Goods, which is actually really great because it has a MagSafe connection in the back. So you can charge via the, the like wireless charging thing, beautiful leather. But again, you're filming and videotaping everything with this fl folio flap open. What's nice about it is you've got a spot for three cards and a spot for some cash. So I used this for a few weeks to try it out and it's been good, honestly. So any of you folio fools <laughs> who want that MagSafe thing, check out Nomad Goods. I will be linking to everything that I mentioned below. Time code links, chunks in the, you know, the YouTube timeline, you can see where I get to what categories, but in the YouTube description, I will link to everything. A lot of those links support the channel at no cost to you. This is how I literally put bread on the table for my family. Thank you for using those links when possible and shout out to my patrons. You can always support me on Patreon. I do do some behind the scenes stuff on like how we do things here. The other interesting cell phone thing going on is Peak Design. Right as Apple was putting out their mag magnet built into the phone thing, they were designing this. They held the launch of this because they heard rumors, wow, Apple's buying a lot of magnets. Uh, they, they held off on it, but here's the deal. The magnets on this thing are stronger than any other that I have seen. And they have this like full line of accessories for bikes, cars, little tiny tripods, big tripods, ways to connect your phone via magnet. How do they work magnets, mysterious attraction, one to the other, almost like they're soulmates, twin flames. What is this? 
Now, their wallet thing is like paper thin, super interesting. Chunky thing on the back so you can use it to actually uh, tripod out your phone like so. Great magnet, like I was saying. This is like really interesting, thin paper, but this part on the back is quite chunky and big. It does not look like, it's not removable. It just stays back there. Then you have a nice like card, like, uh, you know, this is magnetic. Pull that out, you can see your cards. I have tried a few of these sort of on the phone things, like Apple's. The magnet's not strong enough. Here's another really thin one from Exter. I'm gonna show you some other Exter ones. This magnet is pretty strong on there compared to the Apple one that I have tried out and this Peak Design ones when it's with, like again, it's this magnet in here that's not as strong as, wait, where'd it go? This one, this magnet here. Very strong on the Peak Design stuff. Okay, so that's all I have to say on the phone stuff right now. I think the phone wallet is the best option. Cheap ones have worked fine. Cheap ones have broken my phone. So I've never had that problem with the Bellroy. I tried out the Peak. I tried out the uh, Nomad Goods. And I'm sticking with the Bellroy because I can do all my filming. I can do all the things that I need. Okay, that's the, that's the cell phone idea. Most minimal. Listen, I've got a page on my website, matterful.co slash wallets or wallet, <laughs> one of the two. And it's every one of my favorite wallets laid out by category. The cell phone stuff's up front because it's the most minimal. Now, okay, everybody's into the idea of these really minimal metal kinds of wallets. Here's one of the most interesting ones that I've seen. It's this extra thing where they just pop out the cards. You see that? Like they pop them out. By the way, here's an interesting little number from Extra 2. This is something that you can put in your wallet. It's like got a, a solar panel on it and it's trackable. So if you put one of those in your wallet, now you can, uh, the idea is you can know where your wallet is. So Extra also make these ones that don't have uh, any flap like that. You've got a nice little band for money. All in all, as far as hard cases go, this is a really slick, this is a really slick version. Here is like a thing, a metal piece on the back. Extra, okay, extra. That's interesting. And again, this like cards just come flying out like perfectly splayed. How does, how does this even work? <laughs> okay, then there's these three, Aviator, Ridge and Akini. Now this one's probably got the most interesting design to me. It has a little spot in the back for you to put some business cards. This just is like a place to hide some business cards, man. Then everything here is designed for you to slide this out. You've got a space to put cash literally underneath. This is like, you know, imagine folding your cash in three American or like, you know, EU, Canadian, I don't know. What caches are you using? Really nice. I've used this a bit myself. It's available in like four, six, and eight card versions, maybe more. Ends up being extremely minimal in the pocket. Again, with all these, it's hard, but it's because of its shape, the way that it slides into your pocket, all of these feel really minimal. You know what you've got. Things do not fall out of any of these that, I'm, that I've tested. Okay, so here's a few hard cards. When you click it in, there's a little bit of tension right on the card and then, you hear that? Right into place and it feels really secure. Nothing's falling out. These things have been really highly tested. Then while it's in there, you can like change the order of things, put your transit card on top, beep, scan it right out or whatever, right? So you have the order that your cards are in, you've got some cash underneath and some business cards, man, on the back. I have been really impressed with the feeling, the design of this Akini stuff. So link to that below supports the channel. Of course, Ridge, you might've heard of Ridge. They're advertising on a lot of podcasts out there. My experience has been great with this. Just a couple pieces of thick metal, but it's really slick on the inside. Your cards slide really smooth. You've got elastic on all 
three sides around, and then this one's got a money clip underneath it. Just throw some cash under there. One of the nice things is you have this tiny little, this little like thumb push out thing, right? So you can get quick access to your cards just like that. You can kind of, while it's open, thumb through, see which one you're looking for. When I used this thing, it was like pull out a card, try not to pull out all your cards, okay? Because putting it back in once you have cards in there is really easy. When it's all the cards are out, then you kind of got to do this thing where you get your thumb in there, slide this in, bada boom, bada bing. Ultimately, one of the more minimal in the pocket, like these, these ones from Exter actually, I mean, this has three cards in it and this one has much more. Let's try it out, we gotta try it out. What's this like when it's not filled up? You do have some pinch on there. There we go, bada boom, bada boom. And I think this is one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards right there. And it's really, really minimal. One of the good things about the ridge is whatever you have in here, it's gonna shrink or expand to the size, whereas this is the same size every time. And again, we've got that like that back card piece for just one of your important cards, I guess. And a, a cash here, cash here, minimal. The ridge feels really strong. I really like this. There's also Aviator. Aviator, this one's set up portrait instead of landscape, whereas your ridge, you're coming in from this angle here, this one you're coming in up here and it's got a little pull tab. Huh? See what it's like to put it in when there's nothing in there. Ugh. Shoving it in and now you've got this little pull tab which is nice. You can spin these out, see what you've got in there. Oh, I need that one or I need that one. Putting it back in again, elastic. They're all, these, these, the Ridge and the Aviator have a very similar design. I don't know who came around first, but cash, this is like, pretty hard, like you're just opening up one side and trying to tuck some cash back in here. I prefer the Ridge one because you have a longer, a wider band here to get your, your cash in. So these hard ones, the most interesting designs for me, actually they're all interesting. They're all interesting. I like the Exter, I like the Ridge. I like this Akini, probably the most innovative as far as I'm concerned. The Aviator and the Ridge are very similar. Uh, so. What do you do? Like, do you want some hard wallets? Which one are you gonna go for? Let me know in the comments. When it comes down to which wallet you're gonna use, it's really a lot of personal opinion here, right? It's a lot of your own personal preference. Do you like, is one speaking to you, right? That's the question, it's just like. Okay, now let's talk about some minimal wallets that are a little more regular, not hard. First of all, here is a beautiful Bellroy wallet, which uh, I found in my collection and forgot I had some cash in. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? Uh, love these Bellroy little card sleeves. These are kind of the minimal, minimal wallets. Lots of card sleeves, lots of few, few innovative things here, but Bellroy needs to be spoken of for their, their just their, their like supple, soft materials, the way things break in. I've got a few more Bellroy coming in the folded wallets category. But uh, just if you like any of the Bellroy wallets, I highly recommend their stuff. Again, I'm using their phone case. They've just been really good to me over the years. Like the, 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 the products themselves have like broken in well. You know, the way that the phone cases have patinaed. This wall, this leather feels great. As good as any of the wallets that I'll show you one in a little while that I've had for a long time. Beautiful feeling like leather worn in. This feels great. Other things here to know about. This is Pioneer. I really like what this is made of. All vegan, no leather stuff. So this is vegan, simple card wallet, just intense. Like there's another one in the fold category. Just like an intense material. I don't know what this is. It's all like a, like a ripstop nylon with the perfect amount of, of like hard something that's wrapped inside of it. You can move it enough. I think it's going to break in really well for a non leather wallet. Slimmy. This is called Slimmy. They make some interesting stuff. They have, they have two different options. This one has just one flap and two little Jimmy jammies inside here. This one has more flaps, no Jimmy jammies. So you're throwing cards, wallet, 
cash, really, really simple design, designed to be really thin. That's why they call it slimmy. These are, I think both of these are a kind of leather, decent feeling leather. It's gonna break in quite nice. I, I think I'd probably go for just this really simple one with less, in here, the, the one with multiple flaps, it's not the most minimal divider. I would do a, a more minimal divider on the inside of this, but I think it's a very simple manufacturing. You know, it's just, it, it's kind of elegant that way. That's slimmy. Look at these. These are, this is interesting. This is flow fold, just sailcloth. It's like a X pack sailcloth, super thin, vegan, you know, not, not animal product. Very thin, very durable, very basic. Any of you crunchy dudes and chicks out there, this might be uh, the way to go for you. Other things from Andar, okay. Innovative strap right here. I like this as a money strap. Then you've got a card thing on the outside, card thing right there. This one, same company, has one of those pull straps to pull your cards out of it. And solid uh, leather here, you know, nice, nice leathers here. Throw some cards right there. These kinds of card holders, you know, you can find these anywhere. These, this, this style of minimal, Here's one from Vault Skin, and these are all RFID protecting as well. I know there's a lot of stuff advertising RFID. I don't know if some of them are more effective than other, but this Vault Skin line of products I've explored has been, you know, this card case feels great. Got sideways here, vertical here, vertical here. You've got an elastic, like it pulls itself back strap, which will pop stuff out of this middle thing here, which is nice. Getting your cards out of an RFID protected wallet. Thanks, Vault Skin. Orga Shell, I gotta mention, cause this guy was just, <laughs> he sent me these things like a year ago, literally like a year ago. And he's like, uh, <laughs> are you gonna make a video about this? I'm like, bro, I don't know, hold on. Orga Shell's making some good leather stuff. This one's from Tom Ben. This is a fold, but it's so minimal that I'm including it in this kind of card holder. You got two sides to this guy. Easily can throw some cash in one. You've got an elastic strap that you can flip over the whole thing to close it up or keep it in one side and put some cash there. Very thin, very minimal from Tom Bin. Uh, little, little stuff on the outside of one side. And then finally, this one from uh, Misk Goods. This is, this is interesting. This is just a, a leather flap with a with a lip that you put in great feeling leather really nice embossing just says keep it this is uh this is a stylish look at what it says it will all fade along with you it will turn to dust so be generous and leverage it well i'd get behind that I like that. Keep it. Misc goods, miscellaneous goods. They've got some good scents and stuff. I got one of their like uh, hard, uh, it's like a little bit of like almost like a chapstick feeling and just dabble do. Just a dabble do, you guys. Okay, of all of these, favorites are probably the, I'd go Bellroy and Pioneer. Those are probably my faves, but the truth is, any one of these are capable and worthy of living your life by. They're, they're all durable, they're all innovative, they're all like nice to use, okay? So that's the little guys, that's the card holders. Now let's go with a more, like they're still small, but they have a fold. These ones are still small, but they have a fold. They're not, like some of them are thicker than others, like this right here, this is pop-off leather. Pop-off leather, and this leather feels sensational. If you're like, a, I want a leather, I wanna break it in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit of time, a few decades or something like that. It's gonna, it's capable of being quite large in your pocket, but I include it because this leather is real nice. Pop-off leather, linked to below. Here is one of my favorite wallets of all time. It is from All Et. I used this for years. Can you tell? You probably can't. It just is broken in so good. Made in the USA. Four card slots. One, two, three, four. So what this allows is that when you, like if you just have four cards, it's really thin, really thin, even though you've got maybe a larger footprint than, than some of these. Like if you put four cards in this, it's gonna be fatter possibly than 
this because if you're front, if you're like a front pocket person or a back pocket person, this is gonna fit in your pants. All et, I will link to this below. You, uh, you gotta see what they're about. I don't think I have an affiliate relationship with them. I don't have an affiliate relationship with everybody. This one is a little bit magic in my life. Here's something interesting. This is from Nomad, and this, is, this has got a tile built into it. Back here, inside of here. You can open this up and there's a tile. So what's interesting about tile is it's like it uses other devices to that are using tile and they know where you are at all times and that's a feature, not a bug. But the thing is, is if you ever lose this thing, it's potentially trackable. I would say there is that, it is beefy in there. You can feel where the tile is. It's, it's just a, it's a bigger, bigger number there. And I don't know how like battery lasts and things like that, but this nice feeling leather, several card spots, another little card spot over here. And then this back here is probably just leave that for the tile. It's underneath some elastic lip right there. And then another one on the outside. So they're getting creative with lots of card spaces and nice leather. This, was gonna, this is gonna break in well, Nomad Goods. Another one I don't have an affiliate with but needs to be spoken of, Waterfield Indie Bag Designing, making stuff in San Francisco by hand. This is one of their wallets I'll link to below. Uh, very, very like, very thin, capable, capable of thinness. You see how these, like this, this is gonna get thick. You put some stuff in this, that's got some thickness. The leather itself on this pop-off, really thick, but it's durable. This leather, still probably really durable, but a nice, I don't know, something about this very simple kind of design, I think it needs to be spoken of. Some of you are gonna love this kind of wallet from Waterfield Bags. Okay, back over here to, this is Bellroy again. Bellroy, Bellroy, Bellroy. Bellroy. Thanks, Bellroy. They sent a bunch. Uh, these feel super nice. This one's called the Hide and Seek. Okay, it's got some clever features. Things like a hidden wallet compartment back here. So you can hide some cash in there. Anytime I've ever hidden cash, like, like in the previous Bellroy wallet, it's like you find hidden cash and you're like, oh, <laughs> maybe just design for that moment. Just hide a little cash and give it to yourself, you know? Really nice feeling materials and, and like surprisingly thin line for the number of card slots. You can see how they have this extremely minimal card slot thing going on where they don't have the leather going down underneath here. It's a liner material that's very thin and light going down there. Uh, and like, you know, little secret things like in here. There's, a, there's also card secret stuff can you see here like there's a bunch of little do jobs in this thing then there's this i think this one's called the note sleeve uh more rfid stuff and another little secret kind of compartment in the back i just like the way that they've got all these different little minimal slits and slots with a card pull right here Nice size, I would prefer this size probably. I don't need this bigness, though I will show you this bigger one here in a second. Then there's this one. This is the, it was the Apex. Now I think they're selling this as something different. It has this like nice, like magnetic closure. A little bit of beef like built into that. You see the dimension built into that. They've got a couple things like this on their website right now. Beautiful like pull out kinds of things slide real and this is like welded just material wizardry there's a here's another one just a simple fold over pull this guy out if you need to hide stuff back in here and there again bellroy crushing the game crushing the game as far as i'm concerned here's a very thin fold over one from flow fold again sailcloth material extremely durable but thin and minimal. How about this one from z -Packs? This is a tri-fold, which is not a thin design, made with extremely thin Dyneema material that is very durable and water resistant. Nice big billfold type of thing. You got a zipper on this one, but the tri-fold, I don't dig it for pocket stuff typically because it's just going to beef it up a little bit more. I would go for something like Allette where it's, it's much bigger footprint, much thinner when all's said and done. 
Andar, another like sort of interesting folding wallet with that money clip thing here. You got some stuff there and then a little bit on the outside that allows you to put in a transit card or something. So when you go through like beep, right on the outside, some of these have that kind of feature. I know that a couple of them coming up do. Pioneer. Here's that Pioneer one that I, again, I love this, whatever this is, this rip stoppy kind of material. It just feels like it's gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna break in really interesting over time. It's beefy, it's durable, but really thin. This one has quite a bit of material that it's folded it up in on itself with and lots of, so if I was going for like one of those 10 year wallets and I didn't want it to be leather, this is a very interesting option for that. Also another one here from Orga Shell, gotta mention the Orga Shell guys. Uh, thanks for sending these out a year ago, but kind of an interesting little flip out do jobby on a regular kind of wallet thing. Okay, fold over guys, regular fold over guys. Again, uh, matterful.co slash wallets or wallet, all of my favorite will be up to date over there. If I find something new that should be known, I'll likely put it towards the top over there. Roughly things are in sort of priority order as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you put out all the things that you like to carry with you and it's a bit unorthodox, maybe it's like uh, too big, some weird funky thing. I don't know, what do you need to bring like a, like a, tool or something, I don't know. I don't know, what do you need to carry on a daily basis? Some of you are like, I need to go, I gotta bring it all, man. I gotta bring it all. I respect that. You might wanna go for something that is not maybe the, like, I don't know, just, you know, don't hate on it. The idea is maybe this really upgrades your daily carry when you can fit everything that you need to in some more of a pouch idea. These ones are from Tom Ben. They come in multiple sizes, lots of different sizes. Pocketable, you could cut this off if you want, but it's kind of nice because this is a tether that allows you, you know, you could tether it to your bag or your pockets or something like your, your pants, your pantaloons, your britches, if you will. A pouch is an interesting idea for a wallet. This one also from Waterfield, okay? They, they have some, they have some storage inside. You can fit, this one's designed for a phone to fit inside with your, maybe a little bit of cash, some cards. What do you need, like a bike tool? Stuff like that, right? Like you can get away with some of these carrying some unorthodox things. This one from Bellroy. I don't even know if it's still on uh, a for sale, but an interesting little pocketable size when you need to carry some unorthodox sized things. Also vault skin zippered wallets, okay? Like Bellroy and others have zippered wallets. Might be useful for you. Coins. You carry pesos, loonies, got some toonies. Here's another one from Waterfield. Same design, just a little bit smaller. This one's phone size. Now, this is interesting. This is Bellroy. They market this as a travel wallet. Uh, for your passport. They have a few different sizes of things like this. This is a bigger one. This is a notebook. They make one, they make one for field notes size, okay? So I've got like a kind of, this is like passport, fake passport in here. Throw your passport in there when you're traveling. You've got a little pen that clips right in here. They make a small, a tiny little pen that fits in there. This is some refills for that. Uh, multiple card spots, multiple cash spots, multiple card spots back here, SIM card holder, in here, do you see what's going on? This is like the ultimate travel professional. When you wanna carry, uh, theoretically, your, like one of your front pockets may be one of the safest place to carry your passport, you know, besides the safe in your room at the hotel. Do you ever use those, right? I don't know, I don't know, but Bellroy makes a few different sizes of this and I actually really dig their field notes size one, where it's designed for your field notes to be right in there with a pen. And I have to mention CR brand, I'll link to it below in the description. I don't have any with me because they're all used up. Wait, I've got one left. This is a, uh, a notebook that I have been using, the last of them. And you've got some card stuff that you can put right back in these little slots little spot for for cash. You've also got a pocket here on the back. This is called CR Brand. Like this guy a lot. I like what they're making over there. 
I've used this as my like studio notebook. If you're gonna carry a notebook around, pocketable, got a little pocket pen, why not just combine it with your wallet? A couple cards, some cash, health card. It's interesting, and as far as sustainability goes, this has been super durable. I've got friends that have used these things like crazy. You you change it out when you filled up the notebook. The notebook doesn't last for forever. Then you're keeping it on the shelf because it's like you know your thoughts and your ideas. Sustainability-wise, this is actually a really interesting play. Shout out to CR Brand Notebooks. Link in the description below. Holla at your boy. Okay, from the cards to the hard case wallets to the minimal sort of just card holder wallets to the fold wallets to the unorthodox sized wallets, we've looked at everything. We've looked at it all. I've got bunches here that I've like played with, tested, checked out. I carry in a very particular way. This is that particular way. How do you carry? What's your take? Make a comment below. Let me know what you've been testing, what you like, what you, what you like. If you've learned anything about how how you like to carry pocketable carry stuff, I want to know about. It. I learn a lot from your guys's comments. You know, um, what you carry on a regular basis, what is pocketable, right? If I can carry everything that I need in my pocket, I don't have to bring a bag. I don't have to bring any, anything else. Like. That's how I like to move through the world. What's great is I've got, I'm filming in, you know, 60 frames a second, 4K if I want to on this thing. I can do slow-mo at 120 frames a second for some B-roll, things that I can just add in. Getting some family memories, like I've got that right here, as well as my way of communicating with everybody in my life, as well as taking notes for books or, you know, comedy routines I want to do or, or, just notes in general. Do you, are you a digital note taker? Are you a notebook person? I, I flip flop, I go both ways. The point is when I have the few cards that I need, I can pay for everything that I need to. I can get out of any bind that I'm in, hopefully, all with one item. So for me, it's the Bellroy three card case. That's that. This one other item, this isn't a wallet. It's not, but it's from Code of Bell. And some of you may like some of you very technical ladies could use this as like a clutch and use it as a sling It's got a strap Just unorthodox carry right a little bit bigger a little bit bigger lots of organization You can do all sorts of stuff with this made really beefy beautiful like dimension on the pocket It's designed well could fit it easily inside of another bag shout out to code of bell links to their stuff in the description Below. I am principally concerned with what we have in our life on the daily regulars, right? Like what you carry every day, what tools and brands you partner with can change your life massively. So it matters, you know, what's in your pocket. So choose well and then move on. All right. I had to move to this camera because my other camera overheated. Hi, Canon R6. Really cool. Love you guys. Subscribe if you're interested in being more considered with the goods in your life and uh, more considered about your life, probably. Holler in the comments. Subscribe, uh, support on Patreon. You can always buy me a coffee if you don't want to do the monthly thing. Shout out to everybody doing the monthly thing. Really appreciate your help. And uh, you can go to buymeacoffee.com slash Chase Reeves. If you just want to kick me a few bucks, if I helped you make a decision, because I know you got a lot of options when you fly the friendly skies. There's a ton of things out there. Everything that I've mentioned here is stuff that I think far surpasses the the threshold of, of quality. You'll be stoked on. Disagree? Let me know. Be yourself. Everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.